What up? Back at the port. This time we're at a different port where we're the export topping. It's kind of cool that there's a shipping boat over there. But we're here to pick up two cars for David. Let's see what's over here. That's pretty cool. We got a bunch of sandbars, honestly. Wow, I've been seeing a lot more of these. I wonder if the price has gone down or are people just jumping the gun before it goes even higher? But I feel like every day at the port, I see one of these. When it should be like, you know, that's such a rare car to see, like our R34 and stuff like that. Then we got this Mazda Bongo, I believe. That's cool. Mini cab. Really base sandbar van. We don't really see these too often. Battery's not dead, so that's always good. More sandbars. High jet. Got ourselves an Acti. Where's the good stuff at though? There's a really nice S15 here. Two of them. Maybe a little drift spec. I think David found, oh yeah, David found his Jimmy. That's your Jimmy? I'll show you guys that in a second. But let me show you this Honda Life. This is pretty cool. You guys know I had one of these, but this is the the body style after mine. Yeah, I really love this car, man. This was such a fun vehicle. Mine was automatic, so it got boring after a while, sadly, but such a great car. Really slow, but besides that, pretty cool. Look at the hips on baby girl. With the quip wheels. Then we got a Stagia. Another S15. Not sure why the hood is popped and there's no one even around here. As someone that had two Jimnys, I'm always like, I don't want another Jimny, I don't want another Jimny. But this is, it's very similar to J11. But at the same time, it's not, you know? Not that many vacuum lines. Got the K6A. Sounds healthy. Over there. There's a cab. Ooh. This look at the color. Look at the two cabs. I wonder if it came from the same seller. Yeah, he has another one coming soon. Got the roof rack on there too. Shout out to the homie in North Carolina with the clean chimney. Love the tent. Do you guys see like the... Go for a drive so we can find the other ones. Hold on, I'm gonna continue to walk around. Kind of mirror tank, kind of blue. What else we got? That's really cool. Shout out to all my Honda fanboys. This is actually a really nice sedan. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. Shout out to all things JDM. I didn't even know. I'm assuming the guts out of this is gonna be stolen and put into a case swap all while driving. I know how you Honda fanboys get. We got a Starlet, I believe, with a cage. Wow, look at this. This is this is this is cool. I really gotta do this one day. I really, that's one of my goals. That's actually one of my goals for this year. Oh, look, there's another, um, wow, there's a couple All Things JDM cars. Shout out to Dave. The, is that your, I don't even know what that is. But this is All Things JDM, that's All Things JDM. It really is. That's All Things JDM, whoa. That's inappropriate. We can't show that on the channel. But we got the daddy wagon. What's that? That's the first one I've ever seen. Oh, in person? Yes. Wow, we got the Honda Life three spoke cool rims. Oh, pfft. damn, I'm at the All Things JDM special right now. 
It smells really good in here. What else we got? Shout out Emilio. We're actually picking this up and delivering it to him today. You see that radiator cap? Got some Watanabe's on there. How does this look? Actually nice, it just needs a good cleanup. Yeah, it needs a taggy detail. No key. There's a key, what Let's is that? See. Is that a radar detector? I don't think so. All right, this one needs a jump. Roof looks like it's in good condition. Got some carbon fiber. I feel like that's a pretty common thing on a lot of these beats. Wow, this looks brand new. Yeah, they replaced this uh, back window. Oh, nice. It might have a misfire, but it has blitz coilovers, blitz radiator cap, it has an exhaust. Is this a wrap or paint? Oh no, that's paint. Oh wow, that's headlights? Yeah. Yellow headlights. White wheels. Needs a good tune up. Yeah, I got blitz rear foliage. Yeah, I think that's a misfire. Luckily, we got the trailer, so we can trailer it to him. Looks clean, though. Wow. Let's see when he does this U-turn so you guys can see how good that paint and the white wheels look with the yellow headlights. Definitely has a misfire. Yeah, it looks, sounds like it. Oh, there you go. Now let's go over the last row of cars. We got a sandbar. I feel like this delivery was very sandbar heavy. Usually, I mean, there's always gonna be a bunch of Actis, but you know what I honestly think, in my opinion? I think there's more people that own Honda Actis than our Honda Acti fanboys, but I think there's more people who agree that the sandbar is the best truck. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that statement. Because I feel like everyone kind of knows what a Honda Acti is. But the people who dig a little deeper are always like, I want a sandbar. Like, if they're ever going to get a K-Truck, they're going to say, I'm going to get a sandbar. This one's not the one you're picking up, is it? No, none of the ones I hear I'm picking up. This is cool how you did the team. Yeah, how do you feel about the fact that I think Actis are the most popular? But I think we spoke about this already. Yeah. But most people think that most people who do a little research say sandbar is the best. I feel like they are. Right, look at me. I'm six feet tall. Yeah. And the chair slides. Yeah. It's probably all the way back now, but... All the way back. Yeah, I feel like there's never this many sandbars here. No. And they, they all have... Not all of them, but most of them have the power gear. Which, the ultra low? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like... But yeah, this wood thing is cool. They're slept on. I don't think they're slapped on. I think the people that are Honda fanboys are sleeping on better trucks when they could have these. I guess. Ooh, three spokes. Toyota three spokes. Yeah, that one's clean with the tight bar wheels. Yeah. These wheels are better though. Wow, there's a mirror. Walk through? Yeah. No way. Oh. Wow, the underneath looks a little crazy though. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm sorry if you're the one that bought this. No offense, no hard feelings, but if you want to sell me the seat, let me know. You know what? I actually think I know who owns this. Um, I think it's uh, Russell, if you're watching my video right now. I think you told me you got an L500 coming. And I see MKT Japan, so I'm going to put two and two together. Um, I don't think he'll mind if I open the door. It's an L500, though, which is cool. You could put the... Four speed or five speed? I think they're always four. Check, though, I mean. I, it's like... 
That's, reverse. that's what I mean. Like, would you really want one that stick? Look at the Two, size of this shifter. Three, four. Yeah. It's four. Yeah. I don't four. think they, I think the only way they're five speed if they take the engine out of the. I think this is what people are, so, so like anybody watching right now. Yeah. I think I know whose car this is. This is my homie's Russell. He bought it for somebody. No, no offense to Russell or anything, but this is what everybody's afraid of when they buy a Mira. But none of either of our mirrors are not like this. Not like no offense again. Yeah. yeah. Maybe don't put that on the video, but no. I mean, it's true. It's true. Because look, you can. That's what that's what rusty mirrors are. It's cool though. It's like fully stocked or something. But yeah, like this, you know. This is one that would be a candidate for a window. Let go. Why? Just because it's ready to be cut out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I want to cut one out of my, the next one I get. You know, this is... I'm trying not to say too much, honestly. Like, obviously, no offense. I don't... No hard feelings. Whoever bought this car, hopefully you knew the, intent, the condition prior to exporting it. But it's like all of it. It's not just one spot, so it makes you wonder where it's I think this might be a Taft. What's a Taft? Like, the, the had to model. Or is this a high jet? It's a cargo high jet. Cargo hijack. Oh, brand new. Oh, wow. Sweet. High top. Oh, wow. It's two different shippers. What's the chances? This one's a high top. Look at this. Oh, this one. Oh, this is what I call a fully loaded sandbar. Is it supercharged? If it is, then it's even better. Oh, no, it's not. But it has this. I think it's called the King Cab. Yeah. That's cool. But yeah, look at these two. It's crazy. Same color, but different shippers. It's the same color, but a little different, actually. Because this one has a, all the sparkles. You see the sparkles in the paint? It's crazy. All right, so we're going to head out of here now. We got more adventures to show you guys. I'll be back at the port, I think, Monday to pick up a Patreon member's car. I don't think we'll be able to pick it up today. I don't know if everything is going to align the right way. But whoever bought this cappuccino, shout out to you, bruh. Another clean car. But yeah, let's get out of here. It's like five feet tall. Yeah. It's glass, which is really nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Meeting up with one of David's homies. He just imported this. Really clean. Passed by as a regular yeah. car. Yeah. Oh yeah, because even look at the seat. It's like like it has the seat belt, so the rate of duty is low. Yeah. But look at the floor mats. Yeah, they're brand new. It's like nobody ever he says these are like the dry, so they're delivery vehicles yeah. essentially. Oh. I got a Google Translate this. Wow, look at that. And then you're look for cargo. There it is. Update on the beat. It's holding, staying on now. Yeah. Maybe it's just been sitting for a long time. It's clean though. I think the paint on this one cosmetically looks a lot cooler than this guy. This one for some reason. Oh, this one's on coilover, that's why. And look at the fitment. Yeah, I was gonna say this one just looks like a stock beat, but it literally is a stock beat, just with yellow calipers. It's kind of funny, they're like ketchup and mustard right here, but this one is a combination of both. Got the ketchup interior, mustard exterior, mustard brakes. Even that front bumper looks different, no? Yeah, that one got a little, that one got a little pizzazz to it. Anything else, side skirts or rear bumper? Or is that all stock? Yeah, that's all stock. Just add an exhaust, the headlights, the spoiler makes a big difference. Just got to clean it up. Literally drop it off to Teggy if they want. Get it all clean. Emilio, I'm pretty sure you're watching this. Get some shorter lug nuts, in my opinion. Yeah, it sounds a lot better now. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's just been sitting forever, probably. Shout out to Cardio Page, too. This is where we got it from. The homie Rodrigo. 
some update. So I'm currently driving that Jimny, and this is my first time driving a Jimny with this engine. And it actually makes a huge difference. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's as fast as the Cappuccino or the Alto works, but I'm so used to J11, the single overhead cam, not very peppy, not very quick Jimny. This one, this one feels good. I, I really could get behind one of these. He has another one coming in. Maybe we do an off-road build. I think I'm not gonna have enough time because I gotta do the the Hatsumira Walkthrough Waffle along with the Cappuccino and then I'm going to Japan in July, but this is good. Maybe this is another car that we look into when we head back to Japan or even the newer body. Back at the port, but to the normal area. Shout out to the homie Drew. 99% sure that this fire truck is his. Looks like the battery's not dead. Wow, it's an Audi. This? Yeah, look at it. Oh no, yeah, this is sick. A3. Even this staying is cool. Wow, look how clean that one is. Looks like freshly repainted or something. Or I wonder if this is the ones we saw last time. No, it's been, it's been repainted for sure. Yeah, 100%. This is your other one. Dead. AC? No AC. How many miles? 19,000. Wow, that's nothing. You know what's cool? They didn't rip it off the paint, they just yeah. tape up. Oh, there's a canvas. Helmets and everything? No, not this one. There's a pump though. That's kind of rare. Look at the wheels. Flex. See what I mean? That's baller. Flex. I need rims like that. Look at the hydro thing. The dolphins on the back. I guess it's not here. Whoa. This has been here forever, though. Whoa, really? Yeah. It's a beef forward Same one with too. the March. Same Ooh. with all this. Same with the old sandbar that's always there. This is a new one. Yeah, this is Suzuki, right? Yeah. Oh, that's way too new. That's and, like new. And then same with this one. The sandbar? Yeah. We have to come back for the auction when they have the auction for this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> When they, when they auction off all these cars because whoever owns them didn't pick them up or oh, pay for man, them. Look what's back there. Is that uh, a tow truck? Wow, it is. Is this the one that like fully goes down? I believe so. I think it goes up and then straight to the ground. Wow, look at this Jaguar. Rover. This one is Italian. I'm sleeping on these rovers. I gotta get one. Oh, the skyline. It's got the tag on it. I wonder if that's the dude in Japan who no, like. That's, uh, that's from Europe. Oh, it's from Europe. Oh, wow. So I wonder if the dude this is like the little Euro section right it's here. It's like if somebody bought it, bought way before the fame and shipped it somewhere. But I'm wondering if this is the person who's receiving it or shipping it, or who owns it. Owns they it just, in America? Like maybe. Oh, the same station. dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, like, if yeah. before the fame goes somewhere. Here's the little Euro side over here. Yeah. I know I got a bunch of UK homies who watch this stuff. Left hand or right hand? Right. Wow. This is too new to be here. I wonder if somebody was just shipping it back for them. Look at this. Let's find this mini cab. Yeah. And the hijack. Red cab. That's crazy. Oh, look at the paint. Looks like a mistake. D 
Damn. Mine is gonna be fixed soon, don't you worry. Just take parts from this. Take the engine. Wow. Come on now. Just kidding. There's the old first one right there. Look at this. This is the one they were talking about. Yeah. Mud stars it's and all. This one too. Oh, these rims are heinous. Big boy dump. You found my first one? Yeah. It could be. I like these rims. Yeah, these are the stock rims too. Yeah. I don't think this one's mine. Oh, look at town. Try spoke uh center cap. We're looking for a blue high jet. Wow, look at this Jimmy. Flexing. I bet you it's automatic. Yep, automatic. Yeah. Wow, look at that move. There's one of those. That's probably it right there. There's so many mini caps, it's hard to say. Another one. I see a blue. Oh my god. I, see it over there. I really love the port, man. Look, another one of those Wagon R double R's. Oh, look, a king cab. For what? Uh, uh, jumbo? Jumbo. Who got the jumbo? With the Cali mirrors. I see the, um, the hijack. Yeah, is this it? No, that's I got to look at the VIN. Yeah, we know it's a, a B forward, though. Yeah, but there's so many um, mini cabs here. And it's white, it's not like one like this where it's orange. That was the first car I ever imported, it was a Bravo. That was the first K I fell in love with, was a Bravo. It's not round headlights, right? The, no, no, no. The K that started it all for me. The K that started it all for me? Well, not really. Ah, uh, look at this. This one's clean, look at that. That's how all the blue ones should look like. And like weird seat covers. That's nice too. Your Honda fanboy. I know. Let me show all my Honda fanboys that love the channel. Type R. Ooh, musky. What's this? A Raj? All my Honda homies. The five bar wheels too are nice. What is this Honda? I think this is a Honda logo. No, uh, Taco or not Taco, what is it called? Wow, look at this cap. Oh, a Kappa. Kappa, that's what it is. Found one of them. You're behind us, right? No, all the way over there. To the right, the blue one. What? No, mine is right there. That's my that's my blue one. The high right there. No, this is a new two new. I got oh, a five fifty. Cool. This is cool too. Look at the bongo with the auto free type. Now this one isn't mine. Is this a Mirage too or no? This is a Honda, I think. Oh wow, look at this. this oh. Is, this is about that action. Look at a CRV. Oh, this? Look at the seat covers on this. This is a pop top, too. This one's coming to Mendy Import soon. Oh, wow, look at TV. Wow. Dead. Oh, look, touch this. Yeah, it's bed liner. I guess I gotta show love to the Supra. Wow. I don't think I've ever sat in a Supra. Apologies to whoever car this is, but it has the the thing over it, so I just want to see what it's like. I'm sorry if this is your car. I'm not going to start or do anything. I just want to know what it feels like to be this cool. Are you cool now? I do feel cool now. Yeah. Look at all this just facing I know, that's what me. I the way really they did like it was just super. so nice. All right, that was long enough. Forget about the My favorite number is 13, too. I feel like it was meant to be. This one? Yeah, this one is mint. Car Japan. Kanawala. Make sure is that door closed too? Let's make sure we take care of the Supra. Windows are shut. Stock wheels. Right hand drive beamer. It's pretty cool. But no, this is one of mine first here. Let's see if we can start it. Shout out to the homie Jimmy. 
This is coming to the Way for the Fame garage. This is going to be one of the builds, something similar to what we did with the Acti. Hey, look at that interior. Diff lock, I could do burnouts with it. Ooh. Ooh, they never let those through. Wow. Is in it? I don't know. I feel like we should just take it before someone else comes in here. Yeah. What is it, a clock? Yeah. I know that's a thermostat. I don't even know what that is. That's not a clock, though. Yeah, it's a thermostat. Wow, I didn't realize they're like that. That's cool. Started right up though. That's good. Yeah. We gotta find the other one now. It's nice. He was thinking about bringing it to Teggy to give it a detail. I have some rims at home if you want to spice it up. We'll paint the calipers yellow. The paint is rough, but the decals are nice though. Damn, maybe I should take both of these home. I was just going to take the mini cab home and then come back for this one. This guy is clean. We got an IS. I want one of these badly. I know, they're really cool. Like, yeah. Get yeah, you see it? Yeah, clean, and the interior. It? No AC though. It's cool that it's got the carpet. Yeah, I really want to buy one of these. Yeah. First time I saw it was at um, JDM Hawaii. Oh look, it has the door protectors. We need more cars with that. Let's talk about this that had to move and wag it R. It's not often we see two cool hot hatches parked next to each other. Let's compare these interiors. This one is automatic column shifter. Nice blue seats. Also polka dot. Also automatic. I think I like this interior better. Looks like it just has more cubbies. Both turbo, both front wheel drive, pretty sure, not 100%. Let me know which one you like more. All right, so we just successfully got the mini cab at the port. They're about to close, so I can't pull the hydrant. I think I'm just gonna come back on Monday and do that. What we're gonna do now, today's actually gonna be a pretty action-packed, crazy day. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna combine it in one or two videos. But from here, what we're gonna do, Shout out to David. He's filling up the Jimny. We're gonna drive that home later today, but let me tell you more on this mini cab. So shout out to Jimmy in Chicago. He messaged me on Patreon saying that he wanted to do a build similar to what we did with the Acti. So let's show you guys a before. I think I don't have as strict as a time frame like I had with the Acti. So I probably have this car for maybe like two weeks, not too long. I'm not gonna have it for a month or nothing crazy like that, but I would love to put some shoes on it. We're gonna go over the budget and everything real soon. From my understanding, he wants to paint the bed blue along with the calipers. And then he wants a double din radio, which it looks like, I don't think he wants a single din. So we'll put a double din with Apple CarPlay. We'll probably paint the calipers, see what else we can do. I would love to order him some mud flaps if we could get that in the budget. Headliner, everything else looks good. Door cards look good. Actually drives really good too for being automatic. So it's cool that we're gonna have an automatic K truck on the channel. I haven't done reviews or really driven those much. Definitely gonna get these painted. Maybe I drop them off and get powder coated. And then he even has the box, which is pretty cool. But yeah, really nice blank canvas. My first mini cab build. My first time really doing anything with a mini cab. Maybe we'll put some brighter leds in there maybe swap over the bulbs i've seen some people do that with the high jet i'm pretty sure it's the same size maybe get the bumper cleaning back whatever he wants to do honestly whatever is in his budget if he wants to put a momo with a way for the fame wheel we could do that if he wants to put some three spokes we could do that we can do whatever you want at the way for the fame garage but now we're gonna leave these two bad boys there 
I'm going to physically drive this yellow Honda B all the way to Maryland at 844 Imports. This is going to be Josh's new K. And then Amelia, New Jersey, we're actually going to drop this one off to him. And then we're actually going to trailer that one after. So I'm not going to drive it all the way to Baltimore. I got a little too excited. But yeah, this one's clean. Besides that potential exhaust leak, I really like it, along with the front bumper. Let's drop the top in this. You guys already know. Not playing no games. No games, bro. No games. So we got about an hour till we get to Emilio's house. I'm just gonna enjoy the Honda life, the top down life, the Honda B life. And I catch up with you guys once we get over there because I just want to soak up this moment. And just like that, red cappuccino has been delivered. Shout out to Emilio. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this more on the channel. He goes to a lot of car meets. We're gonna actually see him this weekend when I do my first ever pop-up with the mirror walkthrough. But I think he's gonna bring his other K car. He also picked up a Suzuki Servo. But now he has a Honda Beat. Perfect for the summer. This one just needs a little clean. It has some cool little mods to it too, like the wheels, the coilovers. It has a single wiper blade, which is pretty JDM if you know about that. I love the front bumper along with like the plate being pushed over here with the brackets. That's pretty cool, but we just loaded up the yellow one. So that one's going to go to Jaw soon. Felt good to drive a beat. This one just needs to get a little tune up. I think it has either a misfire or an exhaust leak. Next stop, Baltimore. Everyone's getting a B right now. I feel left out. Imagine we had the green, yellow, and red B all together. That'd be sick. Look how this thing sits, though. What's a way for the fame road trip without talking about food? So we're currently at Mission Barbecue. I think that's what it's called. I got baked beans, sausage, pulled chicken, some ribs. He got some turkey. Got some brownies and cookies. About to devour this. Update. Just dropped off the mustard beet at 844 Imports. Soon to be for sale. I think Josh is just gonna enjoy this for a little bit. Have some fun during the summer. Update on back here. Jimny White is still here. If anyone is interested, seat covers are on. Low kilometers, only 32,000. Four wheel drive, doubled in, nice and clean. And then Atlas is gone, Wagonar Wide is gone. The only thing left is this Acti, which is soon to be gone. But I'm in this video here. We got four hours till we get back to New York. Thank you guys for watching. Good fort day. Actually, wait, it's not even over. I gotta go back and pick up that mini cab and drive it home. Two hours till we get back home. I got my energy boost right here. Uncrustable. Plus this. Update, currently four in the morning. Just got back to the port essentially. I'm at the gas station nearby. What we're gonna do now is load up that mini cab because the gas cap doesn't wanna open. And then I'm gonna drive this Jimny to my house and then we'll load up on the trailer afterwards. But let's start this up. If you have any tips on getting this gas cap off, comment below you know what let me give it another shot let's try this again so from you can see this is it all the way closed right clearly nothing if i turn it all the way open it's like the top comes off 
but the bottom doesn't want to come off. You see? So it's like off, but not off. And I only have one key, so I'm not about to break it to get this off. So we'll worry about that tomorrow. It's already currently like 4.30 in the morning. I just have no gas. What was the culprit? I think it's probably that. Oh look, I don't know if this just happened now or if it was like this. Yeah, that's that. We finally broke that little tab off, probably right there somewhere. Finally though. If anyone is selling a mini cab, non this stupid crap, non just a key. normal one, hit me up or I gotta order one because this is ridiculous. I didn't even know K trucks could take this much gas. That's how empty this thing was. But now what I'm gonna do, drive it home, safe and sound. Mendy Imports got the Jimny all loaded up. We dropped them off over 12 hours ago. We're locked in, road to 100K. Looking forward to doing this build. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. All my mini cab homies, is this normal? I've only been driving for like 10 minutes. I don't know if I should be worried. It, it's high, but it's not like too high. I don't have any lights. I'm cruising around 70 kilometers an hour. I also have the heat on just in case, but is this normal? Is this high? Let me know. Cause I know on my Minica, it used to rest right here at that one point, but I don't know. It seems kind of high right now, but it looks like it's going back down. Good news, we made it home. Oil light started flickering, but only on drive, not in park. I'm assuming that is where the temperature gauge just hangs out at. Car did fine though. Can't wait to tell you more about this automatic K truck driving experience. I don't have many videos on Mitsubishi mini cabs or automatic K trucks in general. So this should be a fun build. Definitely gonna end this video here. Let me get some rest, clock in a couple hours, then we'll come back and I'll tell you more about it. Road to 100K, peace out. Remember the name, this is waiting for the fame.